What's up guys? Welcome back. Okay, we're on we're on 90. Oh my god. That was just relentless boring. But not even strong. Even at 90, all the maximum health they had Ready. is freaking 40. Ready for orders. Ready when you are. I decided to move people around though. <laughs> Just so it'd be easier, so the only people that actually attack are I the three people command? that can counter. Ready. Ready? Here. Uh. Yeah? On your mark. Here. Hell, they hurt to hell. What? Strike! False advertising with power. We're like, oh, this is gonna be 1,600 something power. Nowhere near that. Ninety-four. What should I do? Bet there's no achievement for doing like a certain amount of damage. On your word. Because I think she can do it now. She's almost a two thousand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Ready. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, ha! Command me. My Eh? Just yeah, and one! Ready when you are! Strike! Ready to go! Oh! Oh! Nothing! The only ones I had to worry about were the, uh, the rogue-looking dudes. Yeah, those, those two dudes. Because they have an attack that yeah. does fire damage, 34 fire damage. Turn. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. Ninety-eight, two more. Ready for orders. Let me pass. And number 99. Here, ready. Just because I can. Just because we beat out 300. Because I can. What should I do? Ready. Here. Ready. Yes. Oh, you did. Victory. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Thirty-nine thousand eight hundred and sixty-four experience, and I don't even see the dots anymore. That's how many there were. Wow, that's insane. And then another two thousand experience. Oh, 
I got all that. And, oh, whoa, she got two skills. Nice. Um, I could literally get her to do... I could do that to get the one more strength for her right there. And get her the lumbering strike. Here she does have the axe. Could also do that to give her the one strength there as well. Alright, I could just give her what? Another nine more health? Or I can give her one armor class. Dude, why did I not give her the cleric? I should have given her the cleric. I'm guessing I could just start working down to that. Oh. I mean, she has an axe. So I might as well just do that. And then get her down to veteran. How may I serve? Yeah, I got two skill points on her, too. I wonder if I should just get her to ground troubadour. There he has that maxed out. Oh, there's a 50% chance of killing an enemy. We'll restore one spell point and one stack of drunk. This can happen once per turn. Did your drunk lower adds a stack of drunk. So just killing somebody gets. Huh. Might as well. In other words, every time I kill someone, I just gain a spell point. That'll come in handy. Ooh, two points. Um, okay, so I do need to check something real fast. So let's see, this does 8 mental damage. Now, where is my intelligence at? Here. So if I do this, go up 8. Okay, so apparently intelligence has nothing to do with the mental stat. What do you want? That's irritating. If I knew that, I would have... What can I do? I would have gotten, like, these two to get that. Well, that's disappointing. Right, um, you just need to take power. No. Hey. It's simple. Neck. You got two points there, bud. What does this do? 20% uh, increased channel for each dead ally. Okay. So if there's a dead ally, it increases crit chance. You don't really need that. Now. Constitution and strength. Uh, this one just gives you three strengths. Right down to the infantry. Alright. Now, what was the point of all this? Heal everybody. Yeah? Huh? Mm -hmm. Ready. Huh? 94 health, yes. 72 yes. health, 52 what? health, 107 health. What do you need? What do you need? Health. Wow, their health went up. Uh, all that was in here was. Got her to the next level. <laughs> it is. Father's Rage it is a bow. Yes. Here, check it out. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay. So let's see what we got. Adding green. Attacks remove one spell point from enemies. Alright.
a point. Guiding light above waves, saving men from watery graves. So, 14. Oh, eh? it's an offhand? What can I do? What the hell? Eh? What yes. can I do? Can you equip that then? Fighter and a rogue. Oh, so only the fighter and the rogue I... hitter. I get it. So... This one gives me... So this gives her what? Three armor, seven intelligence, 14 strength. What are we doing? I gotta give it to him because I actually do the blood for blood. And I also do the storm of blades. Mm -hmm. So I'll lose what? I'm gonna gain 14 constitution, lose three armor, lose two health, but gain four strength. Actually, not that bad. I mean, I don't even use the 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 sever art artery, so I mean, it's better to have that than some other something this that I'm not even using. All I'm using is for the damage, or in three armor class. But she's the damage dealer. Now her skills should be like 159, 39. 31. 65, that's actually not bad. And she now has more health. I need to check out. Alright. He has lucky. Double the chance to deal bonus damage with all for nothing. Increases the damage of last breath by 40%. This is the skills I'm using, right? All for nothing and last breath, yeah. So I don't need that one or that one. This is that one, but it might be better. Okay. Passing slash, which uses. Ready. Mm -hmm. I. I will get rid of smite. Smiteless. And just put on. Let's restore. Might as well. Just for the hell of it. Thought of that. This right here on her this. would be kind of evil. Because the way her damage gets stronger and stronger, the more times she gets a hit, eh? How may that I serve? group attack skill would actually be very devastating. Be a group kill. Here. What do you want? Um. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, requires enter. everything. Oh. Now I just need to find out where the heck do I put that thing. What is it called? What? How may I help? Yes. Huh? Father's Rage. Alright. Well, this is all done. Let's head to Rabbi now. Sorry about that. I kind of choked on a piece of gum. Oh, that hurt. All right, off to Rabby.
corner park, right in front of me. I didn't know whether to shed me. Scarabri is burning, Scarabri is gone. One day I'll be returning. Oh. Until then, it's good to know. Apparently, the Father's Rage is one of the weapons that you need to go to one of those uh, artifact areas. <clears throat> so we're going, we're doing this. We're going to go do a little side. I should have took the Rabby first and just. I don't have to go back in and back out, back in and back out. Big things dragged down my old dad to gallop! Yeah, but I think we're getting really, really close to beating the game. <clears throat> I don't know how much longer we got. We only got two quests left. <clears throat> the third quest is DLC. Remove two spell points from enemies and restore one spell point to you. Ooh. That's actually kind of cool. That would work very well with her, uh. If I got her this, then. Your inner strength gives your power, deal three true damage for every spell point you. Ooh, that's. Good thing I'm going towards it. Two uh, more levels. That's if we don't beat the game before that. And everyone needs like what three thirty two thousand experience. I mean it took us to have what ninety nine battles. We only got two, we got two levels. Hot soup, delicious. Um don't come okay. back. Still not. You still will not let me have that soup. Curse you and your soup.
figure out this whole maze. Talk to Rabbi and find out where the hell we're going next. Welcome back, friends. Aye, welcome. I hope you bring good news, for we've had little here. In fact, disaster has struck. It seems Yadis has resurrected another of the ancient evils, the mad god Tarjan, who blasted Scarabrator ruins a hundred years ago. Now, he's returned and stolen a terrifying charm relic. And as you can see, left a lot of guild members wounded and dead when they tried to stop him. It was a massacre. Ah, well done putting Xanta to rest again. But the poor wee girl. I should have realized the blood of Aethelrood would mean one of his descendants. But what advantage does she give? What does Yadis mean to do with her? You've seen it if you visited Duke Kingston. The ravenous Null. A terrifying thing. Could probably swallow all of Scarabray if it had a mind to. And now, Tarjan has it. Great. River and stone. Then the advent of the farm here is within their grasp. Please, heroes, you must find Tarjan's reliquary and confront him with it before he reaches the realm of the dwarves. Did you not hear, Rob? When we fought Tarjan, we saw him place something inside the ravenous Null before he stole it. I fear. Fian preserve us. If the Mad God's hidden his reliquary within the ravenous Null, then this is the end. The skin of the Null swallows everything that touches it. You'll never even strike the reliquary, let alone Tarjan. Oh no. No, wait. There is a sword. The Hungering Blade, an evil thing that drains all its strikes. Flame dies, magic fades, hearts stop. They say it lies locked in the Red Vault, a ruin somewhere in the Inshriach, hidden there by an ancient king who feared his enemies would kill him with it. If anything could destroy the Null, it would be that blade. You must seek it out. All right. You'll have hunt. to ask the Fichti for the location of the vault. <clears throat> oh, cool. Plus one opportunity. A horror to break a horror. Uh -huh. Up to Mother Name.
things dragged out my old dad at a gallop. enemies here now. Well, doesn't really matter. <coughs> I'm not going that way. I don't need to kill every little thing. My duty is here. See Mother Nature. Friends, welcome again to Tor Fion. What can I do for you? The Red Vault? I have just had words that Bren, the outpost that defends it, is under attack. Whatever you seek there, it appears your enemies are again <coughs> a step ahead of you. Nothing. It sounds... unpleasant. The Badish gave it that name, back when they tried to take this wood for their own. It is a place of the Charn, more deadly by far than Iwan Reg, and thus more strongly warded. Triply so. Hidden, guarded, and sealed. Bren is an outpost built to stop anyone who somehow finds the vault from entering it, and to stop anything that escapes the vault from entering the wood. It is garrisoned entirely by spear daughters, each sworn to die to keep the world safe from its evil. On any other day, I would have told you that entering it was forbidden, but I fear the worst is happening there, so I will send you. First, you will need this gem to unlock the sky door to Bren. Secondly, you will need this, the tear of Feyn Wythe, gifted to us by her benevolence when she helped us seal the vault. There should be no other way to enter the place, but these cultists have magics even the elves might envy, so I fear they have breached it, then sealed it again behind them. Uh, I hope we don't die too. <coughs> The vault's not as bad as you paint it. It's worse. Let's <laughs> march. All right. So we're going to call this episode right here, guys. We will be back up with some more Bard's Tale next time, so stay tuned. <laughs>